going pros. My name is the 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 killer man. Okay, like in the last two videos that I made, you have to watch this all in an order. Oh, it's, you guys won't give, don't, won't know what the hell's going on in the game. Because I progress more as we go on. Anyways, uh, we're here again, like in the last video, and uh, let's go into the town. It's pretty nice here. People are friendly, not like idiots. The American flag. Speed limit. Fuck the fucking speed limit. No one cares. Anyways, there's... This is, this is, I don't know why, but I wish you could drive a car. I mean, that'd be cool. And it'd be fun, too. Yeah, let's go buy a tree. Hello, sir. Look at you. Proud and almighty. Look at his walk. Can we, can we, like, go down? Am I taller than No, I'm smaller than him. What the fuck? Dude, what's going on? Holy shit, he's a... He's a ghost! <laughs> uh, one really bad thing I've also noticed about this game. Da Asco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get on my way, sir! Anyway, yeah, it's a pretty nice town. Ooh, yum. <laughs> they really have to put air conditioned. <laughs> this must be really old then. Oh, here's the city hall. Pretty nice here. I like it here. It's nice and beautiful. Yeah, let's go buy. Let's go buy a. Never mind. Let's not buy anything right now. We're just gonna look around, see shit. I mean, I can show you all the physics in the next videos. I'm gonna do a bunch of these videos. Uh, so if you guys don't mind, because this game has a lot of shit in it that you can do. We're jumping cars. Damn it! I missed, and I get ran over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a really bad thing. Okay, there's a there's the cars, but when you're like doing fields and the cars are like, like this. Watch, watch. They won't even stop to go right, right. That was not supposed to happen. They were supposed to stop. <laughs> I never seen that in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here's this help station. I also forgot to tell you guys about. It's the. Help. Am I putting money in? No, I'm not putting money in. It just makes the noise. Anyways, the helpline. Yeah, this is what it is. The helpline contains hints that should assist you in becoming a successful farmer. Buying fields. To work a field, you have to buy it first. Each field not in your possession has a rotating buy symbol in its center. That's the thing I want to go see. show you guys in the last video. If you activate this sim symbol, the de a description of the field is displayed. Field area and price. That's in parentheses and you receive the option to purchase it by symbol of each field is not is at the same spot where you see the fields number at the PDA map fields are already in your position are marked with green numbers on the map. field auctions from time to time fields can be put out on auction if auction occurs you get a message telling you which field is being auctioned off and how long the auction is going to take fields that are put on auction start half their normal price each bid raises the price one thousand dollars if you want to bid on a field you have to travel to the buy symbol and make your offer that if you want to oh if you want to get overbid if you get overbid during the day a message pops up and gives you the opportunity to eliminate in immediately raise your bid please know if at the end of the auction you are the highest bidder and your bank account does not meet the financial requirements you have to pay a contract penalty and you do not get the field yeah, that's not good. A field that is currently on auction is displayed as a flashing number on your PDA map. The number's color depends on the current highest bidder. White, you are have not made any bids. You have not made any bids in this field. Green, you are currently the highest bidder. And red, another person is offering a liar larger sum than you want. Don't worry if you if you can't or do not want to bid on the field. You can always buy it later for the regular price. That's not good. Great demand. Since the unloading stations are competing with each other, a station may detect a sudden need for a certain comedy. Comedy. I don't know how to pronounce that, so shut up. In that case, a temporary demand peak starts. During the demand peaks, the unloading station is in question offers a significantly higher price than its competition. 
You receive a message as soon as peaked demand starts, as and you can look up all the current demands on your PDA. Finances. You go to an ATM and activate the rotating money symbol. You can see a detailed overview of your fun financial situation. In the finance screen, you can see all income and expenditures of the current day and two days prior. The loan you have from the bank is also displayed. If you need more money urgent, if you need more money urgently, you can borrow some from the bank in loans of five thousand dollars. However, at the end of each day, you have to pay excessive interest on the loans you have taken out. PDA on your PDA, that's that phone thing. On your PDA, you can to you can toggle through several information screens. Map a map of your current location is displayed where you can also see the fields, numbers, and important locations are marked with symbols. Weather forecast. The world weather forecast is surprisingly accurate and around here. Keep in mind that some weather conditions can affect your work. E.g. you cannot thresh a field during rain or hail. This screen shows you a list of the current prices of all commodities you can sell. Pri depend okay, this is a prices. Depending on the unloading station, the prices vary slightly and not all stations accept all commodities. Prices of great demands are highlighted in green. The last page also shows a summary of all great demands currently running. Finances. Here you can see a summary of today's earnings and expenses. For a more detailed view, you can go to one of the ATMs and use its finance view. Statistics. This screen lists information about your current game, like the grain amounts in your silos or the distance you've traveled by vehicles so far. Vehicle shop. North of your farm, you can... You can find the vehicle shop where you can buy vehicles, tools, and animals. Machines are split up into several categories, which you can toggle through in the top left. When you sell machines, you get back 70% of the initial price. Every so often, the vehicle shop puts individual machines on sale. S sales are temporarily, thus it is a good idea to visit the shop frequently and see if there is something valuable for less. On rare occasions, the vehicle shop with a brand sale, which lowers prices of all machines in a certain brand for a short time. If a brand sale happens, the shop gets decorated with balloons, and you also receive a message make, to make sure you don't miss it. Okay, selling a specific vehicles and tools. In your own several, in if you own several of the same vehicle and you want to sell one, you have to be sitting in that vehicle that you want to sell at the vehicle shop. There's another way to sell vehicles and tools directly in front of the shop. There's a marked area where you can park vehicles and tools in order to sell them. Anything you sell way nets you 20% more money since you went to the trouble to drive the vehicle or tool all the way to the shop. That means you get 90% back instead of 70. What do I use for what? If you're unfamiliar with our agricultural machinery, you can play through the tutorials first. Outside, It's outside of the career. Uh, these introduce you to the basic steps required to work a field until you can harvest. These There are also tutorials showing you how to use the balers, how you can shaft corn, and how you can plant potatoes. Many items at the vehicle shop come up with a brief usage description to quickly inform you about their application. And then we got three more to go, and two of them are really long. Prices of comedies. The prices of all syllable comedies change daily and act in accordance, accordance to supply and demand. You can influence the prices by deciding what you want to deliver and how much of it. For example, you can sell wheat and only wheat for several weeks. Its demand goes down considerably and its price shrinks accordingly. This also means the prices for comedies you hardly ever sell go up much faster. Missions. At regular intervals, you you get the opportunity to complete missions. Depending on the missions type, you need different equipment. For transport missions, you need to own a front loader, a pallet fork. Mowing grass requires a tractor or and a mower. Or if you if you like to do your mowing missions with style, the a fire from Amazon. I can't I can't read it. A mission starts as soon as the timer in the top left starts counting down. If you manage to complete the mission within the given limit time limit, you get a monetarily reward. The faster you success, success, faster you success, success, successfully finish the mission, a mission, 
the more money you get. However, if you run out of time, you do not you do not get punished. You do not get punished. You simply do not receive this reward. If you accidentally accept the mission, you cannot start because you do not have to financial means. You can just ignore it. If a mission does not get started within 10 minutes, it gets aborted automatically. During the mission, you can find its description or PDA right after the map screen. Mixer Wagons. This is the last one. We can read this one real quick. You can up them. Okay, you know what? This is the end of the video. We'll read the rest of this in the next video. Love you guys. Subscribe, become a pro today, and I'll see you in the next video. Thumbs up.